If you're managing a company or dreaming about becoming a CEO one day, then at some point you're going to need to learn how to handle a business. The one thing that can help is to really study and be strategic with your business's financial goals. And if you don't know what that means, don't worry, I got you. Hey guys, I'm Munif. I became multi-millionaire by starting multiple brick and mortar businesses that have closed billions of dollars of sales. I'm here to help you with your journey towards financial success. I came from nothing, so I'm hoping that that would be a great motivator for you. So let's get started. So what is this seemingly complex thing called strategic financial management? Well, it's just to have a strategy that means managing your company's finances to meet your goals or the company's goals. So of course, each company or business has long-term goals, such as it could be making a million dollars a year or needs to increase a certain number of customers or followers or you know a certain number of products or maybe it's an expansion. There could be a lot of things, but all of these goals are achieved through managing your finances. Think of strategic financial management as creating a budget for your business to meet your long-term goals while you consider keeping the money flowing. And each of these goals might require a specific plan, right? So for example, if you're trying to expand your company, you're more than likely going to have to shell out money on advertisement. Or if you're trying to keep your business to just stay afloat, you're going to have to manage your business's money in a way that spends less. Most of these strategies include financial decision making, planning for economic development, and budgets. A lot of times people start out business and they just want to do better, but they really don't have a plan. How much money do I need to make? How much money will I be spending? What am I going to spend on marketing and staffing? It's great to have all these things in play. Practicing strategic financial management can help you understand the bigger picture of your company's wealth, not just yours, and how to achieve your goals. You can do this by following two types of goal setting. First is SMART. It means specific, measurable, attainable, and realistic. And then the last T stands for timely. To have a successful business, you have to be specific and clearly define your goals. So it's easier for you to create a business plan. Measurable, you need to make a criteria to see progress of your goals. Measure what matters always. Attainable, determining a goal that can be achieved. You want to stretch, but not too much. Realistic, meaning many goals that will eventually lead you to long-term goals based on your resources. And timely, if you don't set guidelines, or deadlines on when you're gonna achieve your goals, you might never get there. So always set that in play. The second goal strategy is fast. It means frequent, ambition, specific, and transparent. Frequent means frequently having discussions and reviewing your goals and its progress. Ambitions, you have to make your business ambitions enough but not to the point where it's unrealistic. Specific, so that you set key metrics and milestones. Transparent means making your plans and goals easily understandable and foreseeable by your employees. By following these two specific goal setting modules, it'll be easier for you to budget for your business, allocate people power, even obtain assets for your company. If you can do all these things correctly, you'll be able to increase your company's finances and ensure that your company stays in business, especially now with inflation and joblessness and all of these other things going on, you really need to be specific. So set aside some time in making your business more optimized. And some of the other importance of strategic financial management is that it'll help you make rational decisions when problems arise so that you can realign your overall business objectives. Because by following the two goal settings, you'll find it easier to adjust your budget and make realistic deadlines for your new goals. If you know about how to strategically plan all your finances out, you'll be able to determine the amount of money or capital that is required and the resources you need in order to achieve your company's goals and identify which plans are best suited for your company styles and goals. It can also help you raise different kinds of funds or generate more profits, giving you an exact amount of how much you need to reinvest after taking some profits. A lot of people think that you start a business and it's all about me and how much money the creator or the founder of the business can make. The business becomes its own entity and therefore it needs its own goal. By watching this, I want to say you're on the right track of achieving your financial goals. Business and personal. If you want to learn more, just go ahead and click the link down below and get a book that my team and I have made. It's absolutely free. And by watching my videos and reading the books on finance, you'll get to your financial goals in no time at all but you have to apply what you're learning. Here are some examples of times that you will strategize how to financially manage your business so that you can focus on the long-term goals. For example, sometimes it's necessary to sacrifice your short-term goals to meet your long-term goals. And before the pandemic, a lot of companies were trying to expand, but when the pandemic happened, 
a lot of these companies were forced to close down some of their branches or reduce the number of staff to help their companies survive. By sacrificing their goals to expand, they were able to stay afloat, at least giving them more opportunities to meet their end goal in the future. It's a hard decision to make, but you need to consider really being strategic with your financial goals for your company, as well as your own personal finances, so that you can make the correct choices for your business. Another example could be like restaurants. During the pandemic, a lot of businesses were forced to close, but they're able to survive by changing their plans. Using SMART, you could check how they change tactics. Specific, make the business survive during the pandemic. Measurable, selling a number of meals to help the business stay afloat. Attainable, is it achievable by delivering the number of meals to the customer? Realistic, restaurants spent less time when their businesses were open and they had fewer employees during the pandemic. Timetable, they only need to do this until the pandemic ends. So that's another example. There are plenty of different examples of how people use smart and fast just to stay afloat and now start to thrive. Not having a plan is not having direction in your business. There you have it. So these are some of the reasons why you need to be really strategic on how you plan the finances for your business and for your goals. It can help you decide on making complicated decisions and more rational decisions for the betterment of your company. You'll be able to prioritize your long-term goals while still making profit or at least surviving at the same time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't hesitate to like and hit that subscribe button. Comment down below and let me know if you're in business, how you were able to pivot, how you were able to survive during the pandemic and let everybody know what things that you find helpful. If you want to watch another video on how to become wealthy, here are five tips on becoming a millionaire.